we made it. Welcome, Aries, your Final Effect Tarot. I'm Brandon Lippy, and right now I'll be doing a reading for all Aries out there. It's going to be a general health reading. I'm also going to get you that message here from the Money and Law of Attraction cards. And hope you all are in good energy and in good spirits today. Possibly getting played here. Yeah, they're making you think that there's a great opportunity for you. Uh, but the Page of Pentacles here is a great opportunity for uh, financial growth, or, or they're just sending you some kind of message about, oh, you can make all kinds of money doing this, or you know, uh, send me this, and, and I'll be able to multiply your money. Yeah, it's, they're full of shit. They're going to trick you. Um, they're going to take your money. Be very careful. Yeah, because you have a lot of these opportunities coming in very rapidly. They might, you know, think that there's something you miss. Uh, be here. Make sure you pay attention to details because the uh, rate of change is speeding up very quickly. That's what the Eight of Wands has to do. Things are moving very rapidly right now. This is all coming in uh, very fast. Somebody's coming in swiftly. They may not think that you notice something because it happens so abruptly. Um, you see it, though. The King of Wands is seer. He's very aware of what's going on. You see what's going on. So you're aware of the trickery, you're aware of the deception. You're going to put somebody in their place about it, I see. That's what the King of Wands does. Yeah, now this, now you got people afraid to fuck with you. You have the Nine of Wands here. So yeah, here they are. This is the Wounded Warrior. Um, this is somebody that's that's very tentative. They don't, they don't want to come uh, approach you or they don't want to say what they have to say. Um... This could just be somebody that dealt with a difficult situation as well. They could have been damaged by uh, relationships with others and they're just very afraid of pulling uh, towards you. Yeah, okay. Because you have somebody that really loves you, actually. You have the, um, the Knight of Cups coming out here. Somebody really loves you. They want to um, offer you passion. They want to offer you love. Just a couple of love here. Yeah, they're 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 after you. They're on a quest to get you. They really want to be with you here, Aries. This person really wants to be with you. But they're they're afraid. They're they're afraid to tell you their true feelings. They're they're very held back. This card they feel they feel like they've been they've been hurt in the past. They feel, they may feel like you have deceived them in the past. You did them wrong in the past. They may feel this way as well, um, with the cards I'm getting. But yeah, they they want to offer you love here. They see, they see you two being extremely happy together. This is great happiness, great attainment. This is one of my favorite cards here in, in the whole tarot deck. I mean, this is just feeling so free and so good. Happiness, success, uh, material attainments, getting what you want. You're everything this person wants. And they're nervous to come toward you, Aries. You're everything that this person wants. And they're, they're a little bit tentative, they're a little bit nervous to approach you. Yeah, they're, they're stuck in a period of indecision. They could have another option that they that they have, and they're not sure what to choose between you two for whatever reason. Even though they see you as a dream come true, they feel stuck. They don't want to let you go, though. They feel like they've invested a lot of time and energy into your relationship. They want to see it grow. This is the, this crowd of the, the car of the proud farmer who invested all this time working on the fields, and he's just waiting. You can see his heart, his heart is invested in this. He doesn't want to go anywhere. So somebody invested in you, a lot of time and energy. They don't want to see you go. They don't want to see you go. They don't want to see you go. 
Yeah, they're really holding back. Look at them. Holding the, holding the jaws of the lion here. Taming the lion. Yeah, the card of the lion tamer here. So they're taming that inner beast that they don't want to let out. They don't want to let it be known how strong their feelings really are for you. It's like a toss-up for them. They don't know if they want to do it or not. They need to do it, though. They need to find the courage and the strength to to speak up about how they truly feel about you. That's what I get. So that they can get this son, so they get this, attain this happiness that they desire. So all their dreams can come true with you. I'm getting that it will. This will come true for you guys. Let me see. Um, what's what's going to happen here? Yeah, you guys are going to overcome all difficulties that are put in front of you. I have the lover's card here. has to know difficulty. Um, you two are just going to be more vulnerable to each other. I see you two are going to uh, put yourselves out there more, open up to each other more, more communication. I see coming in for you two and you're going to find, they're going to find the strength and the courage to overcome whatever it is that's holding them back. You'll be dealing with a Leo here. Um, or Leo can see that you have a couple of options and that's what's holding them back. They're like, I don't know if, if, he, if he or she really gives a fuck about me, so I'm not going to say anything. They're, yeah, this person's held back, but they have really strong feelings for you. And they, they're, they've been holding these back for who knows how long. I'm waiting for a while. This person's been holding back their feelings for you. Um, let me go ahead and get you to add a message here from the Money and Law of Attraction cards. See what we get. Right away, huh? Okay, so the card that I get for you, Aries, is it comes not by magic, but by universal law. It comes not by magic. but by universal law. I'll read the message on the back for you. It says, Aries, start telling a better feeling story about the things that are important to you. Do not write your story like a factual documentary, weighing all the pros and cons of your experience, but instead tell the uplifting, fanciful, magical story of the wonder of your own life. And watch what happens. Watch what happens. It will feel like magic as your life begins to transform right before your eyes. But it is not by magic. It is by the powerful laws of the universe and your deliberate alignment with those laws. And that's your reading, Aries. Hope you enjoyed that. If it resonates with you, make sure you do hit that like button. Allow others to view this video. Make sure you also subscribe to the channel. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss your reading next week when all the signs come out. And also follow me on TikTok. I do readings on TikTok every day. So if you like these readings, you want to see more of me, you can see my handsome face every day on TikTok doing plenty of readings for all the signs, so that's what I do. And um, so follow me on there and to help us grow here at Confect Tarot, make sure you also donate. You can donate to my Cash App, my PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information will be included in the description box that's below this video. So just click on that, you click on one of the, the apps, whichever one you want, whether you want a PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, you put the amount in there that you want to donate, a large or small, I love all donations, and I appreciate it. Like I treat them like a millionaire. So I want to say thank you all for showing your love and your support on my channel, week in and week out. God bless you, and y'all have a great weekend.